Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Jaron Geyser and today we are going over my top five favorite lake fall fishing lures. Stick around, it's gonna be a good one. Let's go. Yeah. It's pretty much that temperature the whole way through. Get that tail, that famous dot. On that old Berkeley popper, man. Dang, that's a nice one. So before we get into today's video, um, I just had to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time out of your day to click on this video. If you guys like this kind of content, um, just head on down, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, drop a comment, um, just swing in and say hi. I love talking to people, love connecting with you guys, and I just thank you so much um, for the time that you take to watch the video. So with that all being said, let's get into today's video. So, fall lake fishing. Um, it's a great time of year to be fishing. Uh, there, there's so much bait around, there's so many fish looking to eat just because of winter being around. Um, winter's literally knocking on our door right now. As you can see, I'm in a sweatshirt, I got pants on, it's starting to get cold. Water temps are in the upper 50s, lower 60s, depending on where you're at in the country. Um, but here in Pennsylvania, most of our lakes are anywhere from 62 to about 55 degrees right now um, and they're chasing bait all over the place because they know winter is coming um, but bait number one would definitely have to be a largo shad or some sort of um, single swim bait for me um, that just so happens to be a z-man finesse head um, the largo shad for some reason or another just i have a ton of confidence in it I've caught a ton of fish on this, um, even on some of those slow days whenever, you know, we got clear blue skies, sometimes the only thing they want to bite is a Largo Shad. So uh, for that reason, that would definitely be my number one. So number two, number two is definitely um, a, lot of, a lot of people throw my number two pick and that is just a simple crankbait. Um, there's a reason why there's a lot of people that throw it because it catches a ton of fish and you can cover a lot of water. So if you're out there chasing the bait balls, if you're out there looking for fish, or if you're just burning a bank, a crankbait is just a great and effective way to cover water. But yeah, it is a, an amazing bait, and I usually throw this on 10 to 12 pound fluorocarbon. You're just throwing it out there and you're just burning it back in. Um, it, it catches a ton of fish for me. Number three. Number three for me is definitely a jig. Um, if you can't tell, I do have it tied on right now, and I'm on a lake, so that kind of tells you I do have some confidence in this. For some reason, a jig always gets bit, um, especially whenever the water gets cold. Whenever you're getting into the back end of November, starting to get in even into December, if it's not froze up um, in your area, a jig, just throwing it out there, dragging it ever so slowly, just, just, slower than what you can even think of it's it's actually insane how slow sometimes you have to go when that water temperature is in those like 40 degree areas those fish just don't want to move and pretty much what you're doing is just dragging that jig the whole way across the bottom and just pretty much knocking them right on the nose to till they uh get sick of it and want to want to eat the stupid thing but definitely fall time winter time I, i'm looking to get into that slower um, presentation a jig is a great way to go. This just so happens to be a Strike King structure jig paired with a Maxent Creature Hog. Um, I can't even remember what color. This is their new color. I can't remember what it is. Um, but everything I'm talking about today, I'm going to link down in the description. So if you guys are looking for any of the stuff I'm talking about, um, just head down in the description. It'll all be sitting there for you. You can click on links and um, it helps out my channel. So number four. Again, we're getting down into some of my really good confidence baits because you're seeing all these rods rigged up with them. Um, number four would definitely have to be a Nico. Um, Nico fishing in the fall time can be just absolutely deadly. Uh, just today, I actually caught two uh, three pounders. The only fish I caught all day was on a Nico. And this is um, just an absolute great way to pick away at structure, especially hard structure. If you're looking at rock, riprap, all that stuff, um, a Nico can just plain down be a great confidence bait for me. I've caught a ton of fish, big fish on it um, for whatever reason. But this just so happens to be a Mustad weedless Nico. Those just have two little uh, plastic guards on there. That way you don't get hung up as much. Um, and the worm is a Maxent hit worm. And I also like, I really, really like the Dobbins nail weights. 
Oh, I'll pull it out here so you guys can see it. But the one, ugh, as you can see, they stick like crazy good. But the ones that have the big ball on the end of them, you can really feel a lot of bottom contact when you're going across the bottom. Um, I really, really, really like that. That way you can feel if you're in mud, if you're in rock, what the world's going on down there. But number four would definitely have to be the Nico. And number five, the one that I've been waiting for because I use this thing all the time because of just how much bait is in the water in the fall time, especially November. Um, we're in the middle of November right now. Um, but number five would definitely have to be a jerk bait. This just so happens to be a rip and stop. Um, the, the back of it's actually broke off right now because uh, I actually, I think I beamed it against a rock or something like that, but works just great still. Um, but I catch a ton of fish on a jerk bait. And it's just for the simple fact that they're so keyed in on bait um, in the fall. And yeah, number five for me, hands down, would definitely have to be a jerk bait. And I throw this with 15 pound braid down to about a 10 to 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. Um, I throw that on a 6.6 medium heavy rod with a 6.3 to one uh, gear ratio great setup it just it just works it plain down gets the fish and it gets them in your boat so if you guys are looking for a jerkbait setup this is a great way to go so there you have it my top five lake fall fishing baits um if you guys like this kind of content let me know drop a comment um, i love making content that you guys want to watch so hopefully that helped you guys out for some of your fall fishing uh, lake experiences out there there's a ton of fish out there right now. Don't be afraid, even when it's cold, throw on your winter jackets, get out there because the fish are biting. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to keep in contact with my channel, go down, hit that like, hit the subscribe button, um, and keep in contact with me because I love staying in contact with you guys. Um, you can stay up to date with all my adventures, my how-to videos. Hopefully I'll be able to make some more of these um, to help you guys become better fishermen. I just want to thank you guys so much again for watching. God bless. Have a great week.